Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the Keltner Channel Indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched my first video and the videos after that, you need to go do that right now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down in the description below. You can also find a link to our Discord server, so that way we can all discuss testing indicators and building our trading system. And lastly, you can find a link below to TradingView. If you sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money using the link below. All right, before we get into testing the indicator, wanted to put the scoreboard up for everyone. So to date, we have tested six indicators. Out of those 16 indicators, six of them have been winners, which means that they have met or exceeded our 60% threshold. You could take any of those six indicators today and get in the market and potentially start making money with them. But of course, our mission here is to build the best trading system possible to maximize our profits. Go back and watch the videos that I have made, make you a list of those six indicators, pick the best ones you like, and start trading them. So, on to Keltner Channel. So, we are on a random pair, like usual. We are going to test 2018. I have everything set up here. The take profit is 70. The stop is 105. Uh, Keltner channel. So basically, you have a channel very similar to Bollinger Band um, or something along those lines. We've tested a, a few other channel indicators. With this particular indicator, when the price action breaks out of the channel, either above or below, it is a signal to go long or to go short. That means that there is momentum in a move that is about to be made. So that's how we are gonna test it. When it breaks the upper band, we are gonna go long. When it breaks the lower band, we are gonna go short. So uh, we have a signal right on the day that we were going to start the replay. And you can see that that would have been a winner. Sure would have. Um, I won't count that one. I'll be fair. I will leave it within the year of 2018. But we will move on. Alright, let's see. So we have the first move here. Um, I don't know if I would have counted that one right there if you have been a part of the channel for any period of time you know that when a signal occurs on a lined indicator and price action is right on that line um, I tend to not know whether or not I would have gotten a clear signal, a clear alert from TradingView, and so therefore I choose not to take that trade in the back test. So, that being said, we still got the win on that one. Let's zoom in on this a little more and move on with the testing. Would have been a nice little move. Looks like we had a break above right there. Let's play it out a little bit farther and see what it would have done. Looks like we had a double top there. 
which stalled us out. I don't think. Take that back. It looks like we may have gotten. Let's see. The open of this candle is 1.2449. We are looking for 70. Yep, we definitely would have gotten it. We would have gotten take profit on that trade. We would have taken a loss on that one. Definitely seems to struggle in these choppy markets. That is my first observation about the Keltner channel indicator here. Which is interesting because most of these channel indicators the channel is there to filter out the choppy markets. It is definitely taking a little bit of a beating here. Seems to really be struggling. It's getting a lot of these, uh, a lot of these fake outs. We are nearing the end of the year now. And that is it right there. All right, let's take a look at what the Keltner channel has achieved. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And out of those 13, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 winners. That is not going to get us to the 60% marker. Um, like I said, it's a little bit of a shame because I feel like if we could have filtered out excuse me, we could have filtered out a few of these fake outs here. Let's see. Let's keep that on a 20. Oh, still at 1.5. Let's see here. Looks like I might have missed one right there. Let me see real fast. No, okay, so it never broke out there. Let's see, we would have still had that one, this one would have been gone, that one would have been gone, that one would have been gone, this one would have been a loss, 
we would have picked up a, another win there, it looks like. That would have been lost. That would have been okay. That would have still been a loss. That would have still been a loss. That would have been, that would have been win win. Actually, move that to there. That would have been a win. Move that to there. That would have probably become a loss. This is kind of the process that I follow sometimes when I am playing around with an indicator. I mark out my year, all my points. I change the settings on the indicator slightly to see if I can adjust and dial it in. So that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, nope, still wouldn't have got it, still would have been at like a, like a 50, 55%, um, so, no, nope, it, it doesn't appear as though we could have done much with it, so, all right, that's it for the Keltner channel indicator, I'm going to call it here, it's going on the no list, and war and we will move on from here if you have not already like this video comment below subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime i post a new video as part of the team it's important that you are seeing the new videos as they come out so you know what it is that we are discussing and what indicators we are testing, have tested, and have not tested. Also, like usual, there is a link below in the description to the Discord server. You can join us on Discord so that way we can further discuss the indicators and have discussions as we move forward building our trading system. And lastly, like usual, there is a link below to TradingView. If you like what you see whenever I use TradingView and you are interested in signing up for TradingView, if you use the link below and sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money. So, all right, everybody, I will see you on the next video.